Hi everyone and welcome to And So On. My name is Lisa and today I have a fabric haul to show you. So I know that I told you what the lineup was going to be for the next couple videos and but I totally forgot that I had ordered um, a big haul from Blackbird Fabrics and I really really wanted to show it to you. So I hope you don't mind that I break with my schedule and pop on really quick to show you. So I actually did record this last night when I got home. We were I spent the day um, at our cottage cleaning it and um, turning it over for the new um, guests that we had coming. And I came home and there was a bag, you know, a, a, an air mailer um, on the kitchen table. And I was like, what was that for? I couldn't even remember that. And I was like, oh my gosh, my fabric. So I went upstairs and I ripped it open and I'll show you guys some of the footage. The problem was is that it was just too late in the day and I couldn't get any decent light. And so none of the colors looked right. And what's the point of showing you fabric if you can't really see the color? So I did try to do it live for you guys, um, but instead I'm gonna show it to you the morning after. So this is pretty early in the day for me to be filming. It's, I think it's just after nine. And yeah, quarter after nine. Um, I don't normally film and sort of till like late morning or, or early afternoon, but we have some stuff to get done today and I really wanted to get this done for you. So thankfully you can't see in that sink right there because it is full of dishes. First, let me show you what I'm wearing. So I have on my new look culottes that I made as well as my shirt number one in Japanese cotton. And I'm going to link here uh, where I made these two garments. I've actually adjusted these pants since the last time you saw them. I turned the waistband under so that the crotch is more where I want it to be. And I added a hook at the back um, so that it's at the right length. So that it hangs at the right spot. Although I think I'm going to switch the hook out for a bar because I think that that's going to be a lot better. They still are a tiny bit big, but if there's a part of my body that's going to fluctuate in size, it's very much my waistline. So that's kind of good to have something that I can wear and always be comfortable and not feel like I have to be a certain size. Um, and then you might remember that when I first showed you this top, I um, saw, said that this, this fabric was from something that was upcoming. And now you might know that it's from my Lisa dress. This is one of the scraps from my Lisa dress. So um, I was able to put it on and show it to you before I could even show you the dress. We are so lucky to have Blackbird Fabrics here in Canada. And um, this is, I think, my third order with them ever. I haven't ordered in at least six months. It's been a long time. One of my favorite things is that they do a remnant sale every, I don't know, every three or four weeks maybe on a Friday morning. And it's one of those things that you gotta get in quick. Get in, get out. <laughs> done um, and I happened to be literally sitting on my couch when the email came in and so I headed over a couple times I've tried to do this in the past but one of the unfortunate things is their cart when you put something in the cart it doesn't necessarily save it for you so if someone checks out before you do then it disappears from the cart and I personally prefer to pay for shipping before paying for fabric and if you hit a hundred dollars in fabric you get free shipping so what happened was is that I, one thing would come out of my cart and so I'd go back and find something else to hit $100 and then something else would be out of my cart. And so there were a couple times where I tried to do the remnant sale and it just didn't work. So this time I got through my whole cart without having to replace anything, so that's exciting. So I have nine fabrics to show you here. I got these nine lengths of fabric for $100 plus tax. And so the first thing is they put this little thing and it says happy sewing on it, which is happy sewing from Blackbird, Blackbird Fabrics. And I have my little list here. I'll see if I can keep referring to it. Okay, first things first. I bought something that's quite a departure for me, you guys, and I was actually inspired by Rachel from the Stitched Sisters, who is so into mustard. And I've, I've always, it's never really appealed to me. I'm like, mustard, really? But she's a brunette like I am, and I love her style, and I thought, hmm, and I also know she's a big fan of Blackbird Fabrics. I saw that on her stories the other day. So, Rachel, this one's for you. Dun, da, da, da. This is called Wild Poppy Viscose Poplin, and this is in mustard. They also have it in navy and black. This was um, 1.25 meters for $14 Canadian, and yeah, I, I, this is a bit of a departure for me, but I think, yeah, I think it'll be flattering. And I have a conference coming up in just a few weeks and we always have a reception. And so I think I'm gonna make something from this. It's just a cocktail reception. It's not gonna be super fancy. And I think this would be the perfect standout fabric. So this is a linen and poly knit in heathered blue. 
And so I love linen t-shirts. Um, back when I was buying ready to wear clothes, I loved linen t-shirts because I just find they breathe so nicely and they, they just, with the linen in them, it just elevates the fabric quite a bit. Um, and so let's see, I have just less than a meter of this, I think it is. Yeah, so this is three quarters of a meter and it was $7 and it's very wide quite wide. So I'm going to get, I think I'm going to get a Mandy out of this. I know I'm not very original, but if it ain't broke, right? Although I might do a Monroe turtleneck. It might be nice to have a light turtleneck for fall. It's still very much summer here. Toronto is very warm through, usually through the end of September, sometimes even into October. We get a very, we kind of have a later summer, but then it lasts a long time. But I think a lighter turtleneck for those days where I don't want to wear a jacket might be nice. I got a meter of this 10 cell cotton jersey in white and um, I just need a white t-shirt. I need, I, I did a practice one a couple months ago in something that was not, maybe not quite as high quality as this. And um, <laughs> thankfully it was a practice one because I ended up washing it with something red and now it's light pink and I gave it to Audrey. <laughs> um, but this is a really nice, nice, quite heavy um, jersey and it has beautiful drape. It's also quite wide. It was $14.50 Canadian for the meter, um, but I can definitely get a t-shirt and probably um, like a sleeveless shell out of it as well. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get two garments out of this and the quality is evident, it's beautiful. They had some double gauzes on. So um, I, have, I don't generally find a lot of double gauze, unless it's that really light baby one that has baby prints on it. <laughs> um, I don't find it a ton except for the Nanny Eero. And obviously this is a different Kind of texture this is more the wrinkly texture um, this is the olive color and let's see this was 1.2 meters for 13.50 and i have it's quite wide um, i think i'm going to do i've been wanting to try the morning glory top by sarah kirsten that's what that's her now her name on instagram i'm not sure um, I'll, I'll have to i'll link it below it's a free pattern and you draft it based on your measurements and it's basically a tie back or you can tie it in the front, simple top. Um, and I thought that was awfully cute. And I've been wanting to make it in something that's a little thicker because with a tie back and it's a low back, I'm not gonna be wear, able to wear a bra under it. I don't like the whole um, like showing off your bra strap look. Um, yeah, I just, I think I'm too old for that. <laughs> I know, I know you can wear whatever you want, but I think I'm too old for that. So. Uh, I'm going to try that and I might see if I can squeak out a pair of like little shorts to go with it or maybe even a little a little skirt. This is the same thing in fog. So this looks white in the picture but if I put it up next to something white you can see there we go. So it's, it's called fog so it's sort of a, a very light gray and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet but I wanted to pick it up. Um, I might even consider backing the quilt, the baby quilt that I made in this. It might be really nice for the back of the quilt. What do you think? Would that work? Do you think it's heavy enough? Would it make it like, um, would it make it more delicate or in terms of washing and durability or do you think it would work? Let me know. This one is fun. This is swimsuit material. It's 55 centimeters for, so half a meter, a little over half a meter. Um, I mean, it was $10 and 25 cents. It's very wide. Like, I don't know the, the, the number, but you know, I could easily get two bathing suits out of this. Um, I am probably going to use this, so you might know that I do a lot of hot yoga, and hot yoga and swimwear are very similar. Sometimes I'll do, well, I won't wear, I won't wear a swimsuit to hot yoga, but sometimes I'll wear my hot yoga tops to the beach um, because it's very similar. Uh, and I think, yeah, I think this could be really great in a pair of trunks for, um, for hot yoga and maybe like a little bra top. Um, I know I keep threatening to do that kind of stuff and I haven't done it yet, but this is pretty cute. Two more left. Here is, look, linen, gray, stripes. Hello. Has my name all over it, right? Um, very simple. Wide-ish, not so bad. So this is just less than a meter and it was $12.50. Beautiful quality. I mean, just beautiful quality. You know how much I'm so into using selvages lately. But what am I gonna do with these stripes? How am I gonna change them up? How am I gonna move them around? Um, I think this will maybe be a tunic or I could do another pair of collots. 
Um, but I already have two pairs of striped culottes in gray or blue, so maybe I have enough. <laughs> so last but not least, look how pretty this is. So nice. So I had seen this on their website before, and now it's not very wide. This one is kind of comparable to Nanny, Nanny Era wide. It's not very wide. It's Indian cotton in an ECAT, and I think this is like a half meter for about 12 bucks, something to that effect, maybe even 14. So it's a bit more of an investment, but look how beautiful. Um, it's very light. Um, I think it's not like it would need, I mean, you can't see my hand through it, so you could definitely do like a blouse. That's what I'm gonna do. I might try and do the Style Arc Teddy designer top in this after I do a muslin version first because I wouldn't want to mess it up. Or I could even do another one of the Simplicity top hacks that I did. Um, I think that might be better actually in terms of meterage and what I need, but I love a hit of red and I don't have a ton of red in my closet. That's a goal of mine for fall is to add a little bit more red. And again, I, I like the color on me. Okay, that's it. I am headed out to go visit my sister in a little bit. I have an orthodontist appointment for my daughter. I have to run a bunch of errands, maybe a little yoga later, and I need to get start working on that quilt, that baby quilt that I'm making. And if you don't know about that, I will um, link above where I talk about the baby quilt that I'm making. So I hope that you guys are having a great day. I hope you enjoyed a little um, visit with my haul. I know that I love watching fabric hauls because it's kind of like shopping with somebody else's money. Even though I don't get to use it, I'm like, oh yeah, oh that's cute, I love that or ah, no, I wouldn't have got that one or whatever like I kind of feel like I'm shopping with them <laughs> so I hope you guys have a great week I will talk to you soon bye bye as a most exciting PS to this video I came home to happy mail I came home to happy mail I was totally not expecting and guess who it's from I bet you guys know oh, can I... there we go can you guys see guess who it's from so you guys, Sean, the lovely Sean, sent me this beautiful piece of fabric. You're not even gonna believe it when you see it. So she sent me some lovely fabric last year, which I haven't had an opportunity to use yet, although I'm really looking forward to it. Um, and she said, I wanted to send you a little something because the last fabrics I sent you weren't very exciting. <laughs> I hope you like this Spoonflower print. It's Orion's Nebula as photographed by the Hubble Telescope. It's their cotton and silk blend and can be machine wash, but it will lose its sheen a little bit. I mean, you're not even gonna believe this, you guys. Now, I've never even seen a Spoonflower fabric in person before, so this was so exciting. And you can see it up close. I'm gonna put in a video of exactly how big and beautiful this print is and how lovely and generous the lovely Xi'an is. I mean, honestly, she's just the most thoughtful, generous person and such a wonderful example of what this community is all about. Thank you, Sean. What a wonderful, wonderful surprise. I am beaming right now, if you can't tell.